Hello and welcome back. Alrighty then, so now that we have uh, downloaded the Summernote uh, text editor and we have the right tables that we want, it's time to actually create some kind of interface. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go to where it says posts here, click so that I'm on posts. Now, normally I will just add a table here and then click add the add uh, button here so that I can add a new post. But let's begin with the uh, add post section here so that we can uh, deal with the summer note plugin there that we want to add. Alrighty then, so let me go to the uh, text editor here. Let me close all these open files for now close all files. Righty then. So I want to go to, um, let's go to the web routes. So routes web.php. Let's see here what we have. Mm -hmm. So this is the posts section there. Okay, this is all good. So let me go to the uh, resources and the views and then the uh, admin and uh, where is this admin.blade.php there we go okay so page title is there which is good but um, actually let me separate these files just to be uh, just for things to be better I think I should separate them so inside the HTTP admin, so as you can see in the admin, when we are on posts, we'll end up here. So we can easily change to a different view here. So I'm just going to say posts here so that we have a very different view. So I will go to my uh, admin views here, right click and create a new file, but then open the admin.blade, copy everything in here and paste it in here, save it posts dot uh, blade dot php that's the one right there okay so the title will be posts no problem or i can write it directly here that's not a big deal but inside here i can add some content so let's see what we can add here if i say some okay before i do that let me go to the folder that has my content. See the summer note here. Let me extract, extract to summer note. And now we have a new folder that is all good. Now the first thing we have to deal with is the, uh, because here what we get is just the summer note JS, JavaScript files and CSS. But we're going to use the light uh, .min.js and the light. Uh, min.css these two everything else is uh, irrelevant but we can get the fonts as well because we may need that if you don't put the fonts you won't see the the buttons won't have any uh, images on them so let's come back here we don't need this folder anymore we will delete it very soon so let's go to the public section here so inside the public here i will create a new folder called summer not like that, summer note. Inside there, I will paste this. So there's this font, summer note. Uh, so these are the files that we need. So now if I go back to my uh, page, actually, let me go to the um, getting started page here. I want to copy some code from here. The code that we want to copy is this one right here. Uh, document ready just that now if you notice here this requires jQuery it requires bootstrap and then the summer not CSS and the JavaScript files now lucky for us we already have bootstrap and jQuery because if you come back to the admin section here and you look at the footer you will notice that there's jQuery in there and if you go to the header you see that there is bootstrap so we are set that is very good all we have to do now is add the other stuff to this. Now we did add this to the uh, to the public folder, which is good. 
and let me come to posted blade right here is where I want to add it. So it says in here, we have to do it if we want to use, uh, normally we'll use a div, but I want us to use a, uh, a form instead. So there was an example here for a form. I can't seem to find it. Oh, I closed my internet. Oof. What a dumb thing to do. <clears throat> but however, it's not a big deal. Let's just type it in here, okay? So I'm just going to say form, I'll type a form like this. Now always remember at CSRF like that. And then in here, I will put a text area. Oops, text area. And in that text area, I need to give it an ID of summer not, I think. <clears throat> and then I'm going to name it uh, data or content, something like this. Okay, this should be enough to get us uh, rolling. And then if I now copy the, uh, the jQuery script here, I'm going to copy all of it. Oh yeah, the ID here is summer not, so that's correct. This is how you do it when you want to use a div instead, but we want to use a form, so uh, yes. So I'm going to put this at the bottom. Now, it's important to put this after the footer because if we go to the footer, you see that there is jQuery there, so we must put it after jQuery. So what I will do is put this under this, like so. That way it runs when jQuery is already loaded. Okay, pretty good. What it's doing here is just saying when the document is ready, just initialize uh, whatever item has the ID of summer not. Okay, great, great. Let's come back and let's see what happens. If I refresh, so I can see something is going on here, but it uh, doesn't look like what we want. Okay, so no problem there. What we will do is just include a few more files and we are good. So I'm going to go to the uh, footer uh, blade here. I just want to copy the way this is done. So copy that script, come back here and then put it just above this. So I'm not putting it in the footer because I don't want this to load every time the uh, the admin page loads. I just want these to load when there's this posts section. So we did add our items to the public folder. So that public folder has a uh, folder called summer not like this. And then inside there, actually it's just inside the folder. So right inside the folder, we are going to have summer not, and then it's got light like this, and then JS, something like so. Okay, pretty good. And then if I go to the header as well, I will see that there is a link to a CSS file. So I'll copy this and go to my posts. Now on this one, I can put it right after the header here. So I'm just put it there. And instead of all this, I will use summer not. Summer not. And then I will put summer not light css goody okay so let's see if uh, things worked out so refresh and we get nothing hmm interesting curious so let's inspect the console so that we can see what's going on really so first of all uh some stuff was blocked it doesn't seem like this uh involves us at all but here it's saying uh, uncode type dollar sign is not a function. Hmm. So seriously, what it's saying here is that uh, this is unrecognized. What it's telling me is that it's not recognizing the, um, what is this? Uh, the JavaScript, the jQuery that is running already here. So if I go to the footer, there is jQuery here. Okay. Hmm. So I have no idea why this is happening, but 
just to be sure, let me just remove the... Oh, wait a minute. Summer not, summer not light. Let me just make sure that this is the right folder before we go on. So public here, and then the summer not, and then the files are in there. Dot mean, dot light. Okay. So my bad here. I forgot the mean dot js. So light mean. Okay, good. So let's go up to the top as well. Dot mean as well. Okay, good. Let's try again, refresh. Ah, very good. So now we have this going on here. Let's see if we can uh, do some something. Let's see, uh, some title like this. And then let me increase to a header one. Very nice. Some more content. Let's see if I can add an image here. Click on there, click, click a de click. Very good. Click on it. Uh, let's try 50%. Alrighty then. Looks like uh, we are headed in the right direction. Okay, so now that our editor is up and running, we are good to go. We can create the rest of the form inputs and actually create a proper posting system here. Alrighty then, I will see you in the next video.